This is video number three of a six-part series regarding the Capital Improvement Project 2023. In this video, I will focus on work being proposed for the middle school high school. Continued upgrades and improvements are very important. Over 350 students walk our halls on a daily basis, and our building is used for extracurricular activities as well as by the community many nights of the week. With all of this use comes wear and tear that must be kept up with. Upgrades to instructional spaces are greatly needed. We will be upgrading classrooms in the B wing and classrooms on the second floor. Two science rooms will also be included. As you can see, repairs of ceilings, plumbing, and flooring need to be done. The metal walls also need to be replaced to help with noise overflow into adjacent rooms. For safety purposes, windows in these classrooms also need to be reduced. The middle school high school is in need of new rooftop and air handler units. The district has created a replacement cycle for these units with some already replaced with the ARP ESSER grants to take advantage of another funding source. Many of these units cannot be repaired because we can't find replacement parts. The generator at this building also requires replacement so that we have backup emergency power in the case of a blackout. Backup emergency power is very important should we lose power when students are in the building. Have you noticed the condition of the island in the front of the building? It is the first area that is seen by the community and by outsiders. This area requires much needed attention and rejuvenation. The last area included in this project is a complete renovation of the track. Cracks along the track surface were filled during the last project in order to limp the track along. Given the overall condition of the track, a complete renovation is needed. Video number four will focus on the specifics of the track and the field. Just a reminder that the Frewsburg District receives 95% aid back from the state after completing construction. This means for every dollar spent, our district receives 95 cents in return. Without voter approval, the needed construction would be directly paid for out of the school's budget, a cost that our budget cannot take on without major cuts to the instructional program. We urge you to watch for information on our Capital Improvement Project vote, which will take place on December 12, 2023, and hope that you will take the time to vote. Your continued support has provided the district the opportunity to make needed improvements throughout the district.